Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Miss KK and this is The Wave. It is your weekly show that looks at topics related to personal, family and business finances. And my hope is that by the time we get to the end of this series, you are really better equipped to make sound financial decisions. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. We really love having you on board. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for always sharing the videos with your friends and family, as well as leaving some constructive feedback in the comment section. I really appreciate that. Today, I'm super excited as I'm going to be shedding some light on the recent announcement made by the Bank of Namibia that they have decided to leave the repo rate unchanged at 4.25%. I do take notice that some of us don't really understand what that means and what, it, what impact it has on the economy. Therefore, I'm going to do, do this short educational clip. So to explain this, you need to understand how the structure in the financial or the banking sector work. In any given economy, you are going to have the central bank. In some country, is called the reserve bank. The reserve bank's role is, amongst other things, is to regulate the flow of money in the economy. If there is too much money in the economy, the reserve bank needs to act. If there is too little money in the economy, the reserve bank also needs to act. So the reserve bank is that bank that finances the commercial banks. And the commercial banks are the likes of FNB, Letejo, Standard Bank, Bank of Namibia, and NetBank. Those are the commercial banks in Namibia. So the commercial banks borrows money from the reserve bank, and the reserve bank uh, lends this money to the commercial bank at an interest rate called the repo rate. So the repo rate is that rate at which the Bank of Namibia will charge the commercial banks to actually fund them money. All right. Then you have the commercial bank. The commercial bank actually do lend money to me and you, individuals, and also to businesses. So the commercial bank uses an interest rate called the prime lending rate as a benchmark. So depending on how much the repo rate is, this prime lending rate is also adjusted to take into consideration any movement in the, in the repo rate. So me and you are going to be charged a prime related interest rate from the banks. But we are not all going to get the same interest rate. We are going to get the interest rate similar to our risk profile. So if you are considered a high risky client by the bank, they are going to charge you a higher interest rate. If you are considered a, um, a low risk client, they are going to give you a low interest rate. So that's why you see you are either given prime plus a, a certain percentage if you are a risky client or prime minus a certain percentage if you are sort of like a good paying and a, a low risk client. So that's the two key uh, interest rates that we are going to be dealing with. So um, so last year, right, um, when COVID hit, the, a lot of companies were not able to trade. So most of them, if you are not considered um, essential services, you were completely a close down, especially during the hard lockdown, around right about March, April, May. But then, as the economy um, started opening up, some some measures were relaxed, and certain entities were able to operate. But other entities like um, uh, bars and restaurants and the tourism sector, those ones were really hard hit. So what they what the Bank of Namibia saw is that there is little economic activity in the in the in the country. That means the liquidity is going to start to dry up. Money is going to start to become very scarce in the economy. Therefore, the Bank of Namibia needed to do something that will help to pump more money in the economy. So what they then did is they did two things. They did one, one was the COVID intervention through this, the stimulus package, the 8 billion that was granted. And that uh, 8 billion, part of it went to me and you. Some people got some COVID relief if they were affected by Corona. Whereas the other portion of it went to the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Finance was using money to accelerate either debt refunds that they owe company or income tax refund. The reason why they did that is for if I'm an individual and I'm impacted by Corona and I get this 800 as a stimulus package, I'm able to at least go and spend that money and hopefully that money starts a circulation process and there's some liquidity in the economy. Similarly, with the businesses, is the same. So if they get a vet refund, they can actually afford to continue paying salaries instead of cutting salaries. And they can also um, afford to continue, you know, um, paying for their expenses because they are not making as much money as they were making. So those that was the first portion that the Bank of Namibia tried to sort of intervene in the economy. The second portion that they did was through the adjustment of the repo rate. So I think last year they even reduced the repo rate three or four times if I three times if I'm not mistaken and every time they reduce it so that it can help the end consumer so what normally happens is if the repo rate is reduced right it becomes cheaper for the commercial banks to borrow money from the uh, central bank so if it's cheaper for the commercial bank to borrow money the the, the central bank mandate that the 
commercial bank must pass on that benefit to the end consumer. So if the repo rate is reduced, prime rate is reduced, meaning the rate that me and you borrows to get a car from the bank, to get a loan from the bank has reduced. And if the, repo, if the interest rate reduced, the installments that me and you are paying to the bank on a monthly basis is also reduced. The reason why the installment is reduced is because it's cheaper for them to get financing, so it must also become cheaper for us to get financing. Plus, I must have a little bit more money in the in my pocket so that I can now pump that money back in the economy. So really, that's what happened last year with Corona. So if we were to put some numbers to it, assuming you had a two hundred thousand loan, a uh, mortgage loan, and you were charged seven point five percent, and your loan was over a period of twenty years, so that would have worked out to be one thousand six hundred and eleven. Uh, per month as your home loan installment. So when the when when the repo rate was charged was uh, reduced by twenty five basis point. The other thing that you also need to take into consideration is repo rate is quoted in a hundred basis points. A hundred basis point is equivalent to one percent. So when they say they are cutting the repo rate by twenty five basis points, what they mean is the interest rate is going to reduce by zero point two five percent. So last year, um, interest rate uh, changed from 7.5 to 7.25%. And if you had a 200,000 loan, your installment would have ch changed from 1,611 to 1,580. So that means on each, each, every, each and every month, you have a $30 extra in your pocket to spend. You then decide what to do with that $30, whether you want to pay it extra back to your home loan or you go and, you know, buy bread and pump the money back in the economy. So really, that is what repo rate is and that is what prime rate is and what and that what it, that is what it means when it's reduced. So if you are to get a loan now when the thing when the interest rate is actually low because it's actually at its lowest most of the time uh prime used to be at 8 and 9 now we are at 7.5. So what you should be looking at when doing your affordability assessment, you should be cognizant of the fact that if you are getting money at a prime linked interest rate, that means you are getting money at a variable interest rate. When when the repo rate goes back up, your installment is also going to go back up. So you need to assess, will I be able to afford an, a higher installment two years down the line when the economy has recovered? And the fact that the Bank of Namibia has come out to say that they are leaving it leaving it unchanged it means that they were considering changing it but they had to look at the factors and circumstances around the economy and at this point in time they probably concluded the economy is still trying to recover um we can't we can't um reduce the interest rate any further because it's actually already low and we also can't increase because we are just going to undo the the good things that the, the the progress that the economy has done basically so there were some consideration but it, the conclusion is that let's leave it at, as it is but it's not going to be the same way it will change at some stage so we've normally at this point in time i've only spoken about the impact when you are the borrower when you when you owe somebody money on the flip side, what if you have invested money in an account that is linked to Prime? Because it's now cheaper to borrow money, the rate at which money is circulating in the economy is lower. That means that you are also going to earn a lower interest rate. So if we had to think about this, if you had 200000 in the bank and you were getting a 7.5% uh, uh, interest rate, that means your, your return is also going to be $30 less. If, if if all the facts and circumstances are the same here, that means your interest rate that you're also going to be earning from the bank is low. That's why at this point in time, having money in the bank is not really the best um, investment because the interest rate is low, you're not going to get that much money from it. So it doesn't just benefit the people that have loans, it also affects the people that actually have money invested in uh, money market funds, for example. So that's really all I wanted you to understand. It means that if it's adjusted downward, it, it becomes cheaper for your commercial bank to borrow, meaning it also becomes cheaper for us to borrow. If it becomes cheaper for us to borrow, that means we are getting loans at a lower interest rate. That means our installments are going to be slightly lower. If things turn around, things are going to start increasing and that means our installments on the same loans that are linked to Prime are also going to increase. So to close off here, not everyone is given a prime related linked loan. Sometimes you sign up for a loan and it's a fixed term loan. That means your interest rate is fixed. It's not 
it's not um, joined to anything, so it has nothing to do with Prime. Whatever the Bank of Namibia does with the repo rate will not affect you. So assume you go to a cash loan and you are told that your interest rate is 10%, all right? They don't tell you it's Prime plus one, they just tell you it's 10%. And the repo rate is adjusted downward. Are you expecting to also get the benefit of the reductions? Let's say it reduces by 0 0.25. Do you also expect to pay 9.75 because the interest rate is adjusted? The answer to that will be no, because your interest rate is fixed. It's not a variable interest rate. So when also deciding whether you have benefited from the prime rate, cuts that were done last year please also bear in mind that it will only benefit you if your interest rate is valuable and not if you have a fixed interest rate so really that's all i wanted to highlight from um, this discussion i really thank the bank of namibia for not increasing the interest rate because that means we can actually uh, continue to enjoy the low interest rate especially for some of us that have car loans and home loans etc but for us that have also money in the bank account we're also hoping it picks up so that we can start getting a uh, a lot more interest from the money that we've invested so it's not like a balancing act for the bank of namibia really i really hope this have helped you if you still have further questions on what prime rate is on what um and, and how it affects you please leave it in the comment below then i'll try to also answer it thank you so much for always um being with us on the wave i know i took a little bit too fast sometimes but i'm working on speaking a little bit slow and we will get there with that thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day Bye. -bye.